What are you doing? What's going on, Chief? <laughs> Just doing a bit of work, mate, as usual. What are you oh. up to? Not much. Not much, just fucking filming. <laughs> yeah, just what a pain it on you. <laughs> <laughs> so, what are we doing today? We're hitting fucking chest. We're going on the titties is what we're doing. So, basically, I'm just going to give you a full rundown on how to grow some big, flumptuous, whatever the fuck that word is, breasts, all right? Now, a lot of people, like, on the internet, especially with the fitness industry, like, we all know that genetics play a huge role in, like, how big a muscle belly is and everything like that. So, if, if I had to say anything, it's like, don't listen to someone who has a massive chest on how to build a chest, because if chest is their strong point, I guarantee you they're probably not prioritizing it because they don't want it to become too dominant, all right? Like, people like me, who were just burdened to be a part of the itty bitty committee, and I've just had to utterly abuse my fucking chest for years like it owes me money. You know, I've, I've grown it from fucking nothing. Rags to riches, all right? So, this is your fucking one-stop shop on how to grow some titty. That's exactly what we'll be doing today. So, gonna wait for Phoenix to come. Will might come. There'll be some, some definite bullying going down. But after that, that fucking meathead mentality. Been watching fucking the trend wins lately. For every video, always get up a fucking trend wins video just to give me that hype. All right, but don't, that doesn't mean go watch them, all right? You fucking leave. I don't care under what circumstances. If you leave to watch trend wins over me, I do not fucking care. The moment I can slam your grandma, I, I will fucking do it. Like, I don't care what situation or scenario I'm in, right? You cross that bridge, eventually, she's getting dicked down, all right? So, don't fucking do it. You hit back yesterday too? Yeah. All right, today we're gonna go fucking molest the titties. No. Pure chest? Just chest, mate. Phoenix was on the bro split last week. I got him onto it and uh, he was frothing it. Filthiest pumps he's ever received. Okay, that went from his uncle. Have you got pretty? Not that brandy. Okay. What I was thinking of doing is I got some of those ghost cans up there, which I never fucking drink because I never drink energy drinks and shit. But I got two in the fridge if you want to fucking. Sounds good to me. You want to get down the fucking. Gold? The gold. Down the gold. That's the word I was looking for. Alright, so I've got two flavours. We've got the citrus and tropical, tropical mango. What are you feeling? Oh, I'll go citrus. Oh, okay, I was gonna, gonna give him that one anyway. I'm not gonna <laughs> really? Worry. Yeah. Awesome. I haven't, I've not had this. Uh, I'm pretty sure from memory it surprised me. Uh, it's like solo. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, that's solo. I don't know who I gave it to. Someone, I think I might have gave it to Pat. He said the exact same thing. Zero cholesterol. That's gotta be good. 200 megs of caffeine there. Yeah. Which I'm pretty sure is larger than the uh, Australian dose uh, allowance. I'm pretty sure you're only allowed 160, so. What? Average daily intake? No, I'm pretty sure soft uh, energy drink cans in Australia are uh, only allowed 160 megs. An old guy. <laughs> <laughs> An old guy would go send me fucking the saucy shit. Yeah, fucking hell. Man, that was your fault. Oh, no, it's my fault. <laughs> Alright, so I feel like I should give you some actual insight on how to actually grow the chest, not just catfish you with a fucking gimmicky title. So the one thing I've found with chest is just like force production. Like you need to be lifting some heavy fucking weight, you need to be moving weight. You know what I mean? If you're, if you're doing massive rep ranges of 12 to 15 reps, you know, on like heavy pressing movements, it's, it's fucking cardio at that point, right? It's bullshit. That's what Phoenix is a fan of, and that's why he looks like a 12 year old girl. Nah, he, Phoenix has got a sick rig. That was just um, an un, what was, what was uncalled, the, uncalled for, but like more sophisticated word. Uh, no one else was here to bully, right? So fuck it's just up. Yeah, he's like he's like the favorite son, but if no one else is around, he's still getting hit. You know what I mean? So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, back to it. Yeah, you need to be lifting some heavy fucking weight. So like for my early on presses in the workout, like I always start off with like a heavy uh, like flat dumbbell press or a heavy inclined dumbbell press. I'm always aiming for about five to eight reps, you know what I mean? Like, and you don't need like stupid amounts of volume. You don't need to do like five sets of five or anything like that. 
I usually do like two to three sets of five to eight reps and I'll move on to something with a little bit more volume but still only around like eight to ten reps maybe 12 to 10 to 12 uh, and then I'll all keep it down when I do fly movements later on into the movement because you know like if you still if you shouldn't do like a fly and then go back to a heavy press because you're gonna be fatigued and you're not gonna be able to move as much weight so you know I'll, I'll range for me to do usually three heavier presses to break up each different like there's no heads to the chest but just to work on like you know your costal your, your clavicular and everything all those different fibers of the chest to build it like a nice big busty titty and then I'll move on to like more fly movements just to focus on like a bit more of a pump enjoy the workout a little bit more get a nice stretch and contraction and everything so rule number one make sure you're moving some heavy fucking weight make sure you're using good form because you know if you cop an injury the chest is going to deteriorate I prefer I prefer dumbbell pressing I used to be a dirty little slut for barbell pressing but as I've you know grown up and matured in the gym uh, and wanting to work out a few imbalances in my chest that bilateral movement with dumbbell pressing so it's just a little bit better and you know you feel like an absolute tank and the pumps are probably better admittedly so maturing in the gym dumbbell pressing bruv so stick around and uh, give you more tips as we go Alright, so we're just talking about it. Kyle wasn't getting on film, so we're gonna have to reassess, you know, his business. <laughs> um, you know, does does Hasbulla lay pipe, you know what I mean? Was the question we were sort of conversating on and you two reckon he does. Sure. Um, he seems so innocent. You know what I mean? Like he, I know he's like. Hey, you said he was laying pipe as well. Yeah, I agree that he definitely could be laying <laughs> pipe. Like, yeah, no, nah, I, I, res I respect Hasbulla possibly more than anyone else on this planet. So it's like I would want my boy laying pipe. You know what I mean? But it's like. Is he getting in there? I could definitely see, you were saying off camera, he's like smoking a cigar and shit. Yeah, yeah. I could definitely see him fucking eating ass off camera, so. <laughs> he's packing an eight inch or two. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Surely. Fuck, you, you take his pants off, he looks like a three-legged fucking. Dog. <laughs> <laughs> three-legged dog. All right, so. Oh, there's me, dog, right? Drop a comment, does Hasbulla a late pipe? If so, how many inches? Yeah, what's he packing? <laughs> <laughs> Don't... Comment below what his meat size is. <laughs> <laughs> maybe That's accurate guess. Yeah, if we like get a... this YouTube fucking channel big enough, maybe one day we'll go out and find out how big it truly is. But till then, we're just gonna have to speculate. This kid's gonna be the best kid in the world. This kid's gonna be somebody better than anybody ever knew. Uh, so we're gonna start off on a uh, flat dumbbell press and then go through a few different movements. I'll run you through it as we go. But just gonna warm up on a little bit of a warm up the rotator cuffs real quick to try and avoid, you know, some fucking devastating injuries. Stick a finger in your face and tell you. Will's over there on the cables. He doesn't ask me to the dumbbells. <laughs> it's a little bit respectful. Something you already know. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It's a very mean and nasty place, and I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. You, me, or nobody is going to hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. Now, if you know what you're worth, then go out and get what you're worth. But you gotta be willing to take the hit and not pointing fingers saying you ain't where you wanna be because of him or her or anybody. Cowards do that and that ain't you. You're better than that.
lightweight. Answer me, Vegeta! Do you let yourself be a slave? I wanted him to reawaken the evil in my heart! I wanted him to return me to the way I was before! two for drawing the chest is just do like basic movements you know what I mean I see a lot of motherfuckers out there doing some dumb shit like fucking on a normal press they'll hold one out do another one you're like I do do that but right at the end of my workout when I'm purely just doing it for a pump right you know just like basic training is, is, is just that it's basic you don't have to get fucking fancy about it presses flies all that good shit it's, it's the best thing for your chest right don't just because you see something that looks different on the internet it's probably some like prick trying to fucking sell you some shit, alright? Just do basic presses, flies, normal movement patterns, don't be fucking doing some whack shit, alright? See a lot of motherfuckers do it. Especially if you have like if you have a like a underdeveloped lower chest, build the upper chest because that's gonna force the meat to come out. It has to hang hang down and then loop back into a tap, alright? So make sure you're, you're focusing on the entire chest and not just a specific portion of it. Kakarot is my only objective! Don't neglect any part of the chest. So you notice we did a flat dumbbell bench, we did a decline uh, converging press, and now we're doing an incline barbell press. So at the moment I'm running a bro split, so obviously everything I do on my chest day is in one day. But you know, if I was running a push full legs, what I usually like to do is split up and have like an upper and a lower chest day. And I find that just builds a nice busty like breast, you know what I mean? Because some people will usually like have better fibers like in their upper chest or their lower chest, one or the other so they'll neglect, you know, the, the opposing side. But if you get a nice full chest, you know, you want to be hitting every single, like, every fibre of the chest, you know what I mean? Especially if you have, like, if you have a, like, a underdeveloped lower chest, build the upper chest because that's going to force the meat to come out. It has to hang, hang down and then loop back into a tap, right? So make sure you're, you're focusing on the entire chest and not just a specific portion of it. Yeah. You're still too weak. You don't have enough hate. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. And you know something? You never will. How much can you see with those shining down on yours? What I'm seeing right now... Itachi is you dead at my feet. From the underworld, coming from the underground Oof. Motherfuckers better watch out for the male hounds Oof. An average be the motherfucking game that you all down Oof. Risen up the purgatory, all you bitches done now Oof. Straight from the underworld, coming from the underground Oof. Motherfuckers better watch out for the male hounds Oof. An average be the motherfucking game that you all down Ah, 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 ah,
think of another one is make sure your training is a failure or near failure, right? Like if you're coming in here training, you got like an RP, like six, you know, four reps in the tank or whatever the fuck, you know, you train like a bit of a bitch for one and you, your muscle's just not gonna need to adapt to grow, man. That's why muscle hypertrophy or, or muscle gain is, is the whole epitome of I need to lift stronger. Like I need to lift fucking more. It's your muscle adapting, all right? So don't be trained like a bitch. Train at least within an RP8 or above, right? So I, I like to I aim for like RP9, RP10, but if I'm having a shitty day, low energy or something, I'll make sure I get at least RP8. <laughs> Answer me, Vegeta! Do you let yourself be a slave? I wanted him to reawaken the evil in my heart! I wanted him to return me to the way I was before! Alright lads, so we're gonna wrap this video up here. Thank you Phoenix for coming along. How's your chest feeling? Feeling juicy. Feeling fried mate. So. If you guys are looking for bro split, you can find that on my website for dollar day programs. Otherwise, hit me up for some VIP coaching. I'll fucking sort you out. Other than that, make sure you drop a sub, drop a comment, drop a like, drop a comment of what you guys want to see, and uh, see you in the next one.